What's up everyone, KJ here. Let's get right into my thoughts on round 1176 of Hajime no Whipple titled The Coach's Scolding. All of my thoughts for the summary review were, were used from the actual chapter. The link to this chapter on manga streams in the description below, so check it out when you get the chance. The summary starts right now. After finishing, finishing some training for the new Dempsey role, Kamigawa asks if what he saw is the new Dempsey's timing. Ippo says yes, then Kamigawa tells Ippo that he could catch Ippo's attacks with his bare hands while blindfolded. He also calls Ippo's attacks a rusty blade again. Kamigawa also says that it was so weak he wanted to yawn. He then starts telling Ippo things he has to work on for the new Dempsey, like having a faster follow-up, not getting countered while attempting the new Dempsey, and being quick with it so his opponents can't escape. Kamigawa also explains that getting on the inside of a southpaw isn't going to be easy, so Ippo has to make the most of it and have other tactics to use as well. Kamigawa then gives Ippo some strategies and also tells him to learn through repetition and always be careful, because the match between Ippo and Guevara is coming soon. Ippo thanks Kamigawa for all the critiques and advice. Aoki and Kimura talk about Ippo's southpaw strategy and also say that even though the coach says many harsh things to Ippo, he never lets it bring him down. Itagaki then says he's happy that Shinoda is his trainer because he doesn't get scolded like Ippo does. Then Ippo explains that he wants to be lectured more, surprising Aoki and Kimura. Ippo explains that because he was out for so long, being scolded makes him feel happy and like he's really boxing again, or really boxing now. Later at Takamura's place, Aoki and Kimura tell him what Ippo was saying. However, Takamura gets upset because they wasted his time telling him this pointless stuff and came into his apartment with snacks even though he's on a diet. He then starts hitting Aoki and Kimura with one of his heaters. Aoki and Kimura explain that they came by because they felt uh, Takamura wasn't motivated and he, he hasn't sparred in a long time. In addition, they asked him to have a public spar to look in front of the press, but even after that, he still kicks him out of his apartment. At the public spar, Takamura does so well, some even say it's like his weight control didn't affect him at all. Because of how well he does, his other sparring partners don't want to spar with him anymore. Kamigawa yells at Takamura, saying it was hard to find him partners, but Takamura doesn't want to hold back in spars because that could show up in real matches. Aoki and Kimura were worried that Takamura wouldn't do well because he hadn't sparred in a while, but his talents made up for it. Meanwhile, the press is happy, saying Takamura's style events should really be great. Meanwhile, Ippo is hitting the mitts with Shinoda. Shinoda suggests Ippo should focus on the trainings and not get scolded, but remembers Ippo likes getting lectured, or scolded, whatever you want to put it there or say. Ippo also wants to receive praise, and while Shinoda is replying to Ippo's statement, Ippo goes into the new Dempsey role, catching Shinoda out off guard with how low it goes. After seeing Shinoda in pain, Ippo apologizes for new using the new Dempsey, and Shinoda says it reminds him of Aoki's frog punch, but very diff different. Shinoda asks Ippo if he thought Shinoda could catch a bare hand, but Ippo continues to apologize. Shinoda says that because he's not used to Ippo's punches and because he isn't as skilled with the mints as Kamigawa is, it's natural that he was caught off guard. He also states that the low angle it comes in at would even give experts trouble. Uh, Shinoda also states that whoever has the mitts always feels anxious because it can get more and more scary depending on the fighter and their style of punching and types of angles they use. There are many repercussions to using the mitts like jamming your fingers, spraining them, breaking your wrists, and more, and all this could happen even when you're used to the punches. Shinoda says that because the coach can use the mitts with Ippo frequently, he looks very impressive. Uh, Ippo thinks it's amazing that the coach can catch his punches, but Shinoda says not to take the coach seriously when he's insulting Ippo's punches. Continuing to have pain from Ippo's punches, Shinoda explains that Kamigawa probably had to prepare himself for Ippo's punches and his criticisms come from all the effort Kamigawa had to put into that preparation. Shinoda asks Ippo to think about how determined the coach must be to catch Ippo's punches and still remain composed enough to lecture him. Lastly, Shinoda tells Ippo to show Kamigawa his gratitude for all the lectures Kamigawa gives him. Ippo takes all that advice in and says he'll fight with his all. Uh, then we see the signing ceremony for Takamura and his opponent, Keith Lycan, or Lycaon, or whatever it's called. I'm gonna say Lycan. The weigh-in was already completed and both fighters met the limit. Kamigawa uses a duck and the kanji for river to sign his name as Takamura and Lycan are staring at each other. That's it with the summary of the chapter. So some important things to take away from this chapter are that we get some insight into Ippo and why you can take Kamigawa's lectures and not get discouraged by them. You also see uh, Takamura take part in a public spar for the press and destroy his opponent. Shinoda gives Ippo some advice on handling Kamigawa's criticisms and to understand how Kamigawa truly feels about Ippo and his punches. Takamura and his next opponent, an American boxer named Key Lycan, meet for the first time. Overall, well this, my review starts now. Overall, I did like this chapter because you got to see why Ippo likes getting advice from Kamigawa. We also got to see the deadliness of the new Dempsey and how it could even give experts trouble. It hurt Shinoda even though he was wearing protective padding. I was also happy to see Takamura's next opponent and the chaos that went down in his apartment because it was pretty hilarious. But anyway, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Make sure you give this video a like if you did. Please subscribe and follow me on Twitter at KJ underscore 0 
and please feel free to comment your thoughts down below. What do you think of this chapter? Do you think Ippo's southpaw strategy will work on Guevara? Will Ippo have trouble against Guevara? How do you think the fight between Ippo and Guevara, as well as Takamura and Lycan, will go? I want to hear your thoughts about it. Also, if you think I should make any changes to this video and hear any other videos or series I do, again, please comment down below because it can help me out. And also, uh, make sure to turn notifications on so you don't miss out on anything new. And with all that being said, until next time, I'll see y'all later.